Hello there everyone, and I'm going to be redoing that cosplay tag I did a long time ago, um, but some of my answers have been changed because it's been a few years and all that, so I thought, why not redo it? Okay, so I know it says to put on your newest cosplay, and obviously this is not one of my newest ones, but I am going to be wearing it to Stockton Con this weekend. Um, it's Konata from Lucky Star, as you all know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be wearing it this weekend to Stockton Con, and I just thought I'd wear it. Um, so introduce yourself, tell your cosplay name, blah blah blah. Um, I go by Kitty Bear Cosplay, basically. Um, I know I used to go by something like Kitty Chan or Kitty Grell, but I've changed it, and now I go by, um, Kitty Bear, which I think is more fitting, because, um, I like bears, and people call me Kitty, they've been calling me that, you know, it's one, of, it's one of my nicknames. I only allow, like, close people to call me that, though, and not just anyone, so just letting you know. Um, so, yeah, how did I get into cosplay? The answer to that is the same as you know, you know, a friend in college. Um, we did a project where we had to wear a costume, and she told me that she had all these cosplays, and, like, I went to her house and saw the cosplays and all that, and that's what got me into it. You know, I was like, I want to do this, too. So, that was it. Um, how long have I been cosplaying? Um, I've been cosplaying since, as you know, 2009, so a little over six years. So, yeah, about six and a half, I would say. So, yeah. Um, how many cosplays have I done? Oh gosh, I have lost count. Since I've been cosplaying for that many years, and I've done so many over those years, I have lost count. So, yeah, I can't tell you how many. I'm sorry. Um, how did I get my costumes? Some of them I buy like this one I got from Bodyline. Um, but some I do put together. I can't really make a full cosplay just yet. I'm getting there though. Um, but I get some parts from like Goodwill or at their store and like I add stuff to them or just fix them up and edit them, modify them to look more like the character's outfit. So yeah, I do that, you know, mo modifications here and there and I do make some props like if they're plush or whatnot. I have been working with Warbla and Craft Foam too, so I can kind of make props. Depends on how simple they are. Um... What was my first cosplay? That answer is still the same, which is Haruhi Suzumiya. Um, I'm still glad she was my first, because she was so much fun to be, and all the memories I have with Haruhi are amazing. And um, you knew why I chose it, because at the time she was my favorite character, and it was my favorite anime at the time. It's still one of my favorites to this day, and it's just so much fun to be here. And I feel like back then she was the anime version of me, because... Well, I mean, I wasn't as crazy as her, and I'm not as crazy as her, but it's still fun to be Harvey, so yeah. Um, my most favorite cosplay, that's a hard one, because since I have a lot now, it's hard to pick one. I'm going to pick, like, a top three. It would have to be... Well, I do love this one, because I've been wanting to be Konata for a long time now, and I finally have Konata, so I would say she's one of my favorites. And also, Yoko Usami from Go Busters. Um, basically because the harness to that one I made completely from scratch, and it was my first time making a harness, and I was just so proud of it. Like, it turned out better than I expected it to be, and I was just so amazed that I was able to make something like that. I mean, I'm just, I'm so proud of myself for making that harness, you know, from scratch. And it's just, I love that thing so much, it's... That's why it's one of my favorites. Also because Yoko is one of my favorite Sentai characters, and she's so much fun to cosplay. Um, because, yeah, I, I share some characteristics with her and everything, but yeah, I mean, she's just one of my favorites. And the fact that I just made the harness from scratch adds to it, so yeah. My third, um, I don't know, really. I don't know if I really have a third, because there's so many I like the same. So I can't really pick one. Um, it might be a toss between Honey Lemon, um, Ian, the hoodie version from Kyoryuger. Um, and, well, I, it's hard to say, really. Um, probably my main Miku one, I think that one's becoming one of my favorites, too. 
Also, Denoton's a good one, too. Yeah, I just, I can't really pick a third. So, favorite thing about cosplay? Um, just the photo shoots, like I probably said before. The photo shoots, the group cosplays, like, um, just being with friends and cosplay at a convention is a lot of fun. Um, and getting recognized as your character is also cool. Um, just, just all the positive things, like all the things you can do at a convention and cosplay, basically. The gatherings, the shoots, hanging with friends, it's just amazing. Oh, here we go. Cosplay pet peeve. Oh, well. Um, you know, back then I said it was the whole don't get the wrong shoes with the wrong outfit. Yeah, that's still my pet peeve, but my number one pet peeve right now is unsealed body paint. Seriously, what are you thinking? If you're putting on body paint and not sealing it, then what is wrong with you? What are you doing? Seal that paint or don't wear it at all because it's going to get everywhere. By everywhere, I mean on someone's hard work or expensive costume. That is a no-no, okay? That is just, if someone's wearing this really fancy white dress that they put like hours and hours and days into to make it look perfect, and you're just gonna come up to them and get your paint all over that, there's something messed up with your head. Because I do not stand for that. Okay, that is just downright rude, disrespectful, immature, and mean if you're going to do that to someone's hard-worked costume. Okay, because they put so much work. They put their blood, sweat, and tears into that costume. Okay, so if you're just going to go up to them and get your pain all over it, then there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. There's something wrong with you. So please, seal your damn paint. Excuse my French. Um, but yeah. So if you don't seal your paint, my gremlins are coming after you. Okay. Oh, and Godzilla's gonna come after you, too. Now, let's see. Tell me about your most recent cosplay. Um, it's me, Miku, as you probably know. Um... That just came a few days ago, and I know I did a vid about talking about it, how I upgraded my maid costume, because you all know the one I had a long time ago, from Spirit. It was good, it lasted a while, surprisingly, to be a Spirit costume, I know, right? Um, but it's time I upgraded, and you all know I'm going to give it my old one to a friend. Um, and yeah, um, my new one is from Bodyline, as you know. And it's, it's really, it fits really well, and it's adorable, and I love it, and yeah, I can't wait to wear it at Zack Anime, so yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's it. Um, tagging people, if you're a cosplayer, and you're watching this, and you want to do it, go for it. And if you've done this already, and want to do it again, like I am, go for it as well. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, bye guys. I will hopefully see you at Stockton Con. I'll make some vids at Stockton Con. As for my Idaho vid and some vlogs I've made, I will get those up as soon as possible. So, yeah. Anyways, enjoy your cosplay life. Bye!